This is an all new way to sell in WordPress. First, I'm going to show you, then I'm going to give you the details, but make sure you stay to the end so you don't miss out on any of the surprises. This is all new and there's nothing like this in WordPress. So grab your popcorn, buckle up and let's go. But first, I want you to meet a few people. Meet Sarah. She has a membership program with multiple ways to pay. And on her form here, she has a monthly plan, an annual plan, as well as a lifetime plan. And she offers instant express checkout right here as well I made this form here for her but I'm not a designer and I don't have the best design skills you can wrap this up in any design that you like even though I like this minimalistic design you might want a little bit more and you could do whatever you desire so right here is an element or designed page where that same form is dropped in and you can see it looks very attractive when it's actually placed inside of a design if you didn't want that minimalistic look that I have right here next meet Rachel she's raising money for her charitable cause and what she's done to the form here is she's add these easily to select dollar amounts that update the dollar amount for the donation on this form now what's nice is if someone's feeling extra generous there's an other option here where someone can put in a much higher number and give that larger dollar amount as you can see right here I've added 500 to it she's also changed the primary color to green as you can see we've got the green button here the green button there and when you click into any of these fields you can see there's this green glow next meet Jack he provides digital services that have a lot of heavy lifting in the beginning so he charges the first three months up front and then it goes into a monthly payment plan and what is on this form that's different you can see down here he is charging for a website maintenance plan it's $99 per month but it's not going to start charging until after 90 days those three months and then up here there's a website setup fee for $299 so when this transaction goes through a $299 charge is going to happen and then in three months it'll be $99 per month the flexibility of the system meets his needs to be able to charge exactly the way that he wants to charge next meet Austin he sells digital products but he wants to have a beautiful sales page for each product that goes to his central checkout kind of like a typical e-commerce where products are added and then they're purchased on a centralized checkout page so he has this right here for his ebook and on this button right here there's something called buy links that he's added and when this button's clicked it goes to another checkout design that I designed myself the product is put into the cart and now it's available for purchase and so he can have multiple product pages like that for each one of his digital products and one centralized checkout form this one I happen to design in the block builder for WordPress next meet Eric he's an attorney and one wants to have clients pay invoices conveniently online and yes my attorney or one of my attorneys his name actually is Eric and I do pay invoices to him online so the last one I paid to him was $1,850 let's go ahead and pop in an invoice number in and you can see as soon as I entered in the invoice amount it populated right down here as well as the amount here in the button now I chose this color for the button because I thought it looked attorney-ish and remember Sarah from a moment ago she has a convenient way for her subscribers to upgrade or downgrade their subscriptions so when they choose one here they can easily go into the member area here is that member area and here's the subscription they can just click right here and then they can choose a different subscription I'll go ahead with this membership I'll go ahead and click on next and guess what it's prorated you can see it's 199 but it deducts the amount that has been paid but hasn't been used up it prorates it and I only have to pay this amount to get going 
You can sell just about anything. You just need to do three simple steps and the platform takes care of all the rest for you. The first step is to create a product. I'll click on add new. First, you pop in a name for the product and then you choose how you want to sell this. Is it going to be a single one-time payment? Is it going to be subscriptions? Is there going to be a free trial? And if you notice down here, a single product can have multiple prices. So in the case of Sarah with the membership site, she has a monthly plan, an annual plan and a lifetime plan. And if you didn't notice it under single payment, there's an option here to allow customers to pay what you want. And this is how we accomplish the donation as well as the invoice for Eric. And pretty soon there's going to be a split pay option here as well. So you can take a purchase and split it up into multiple payments. It makes it so much easier for people to buy products from you. Now over here on the right, you can give your product an image and then you can also add a download here for secure digital digital downloads. So you can drop your ebooks in here or any kind of digital asset. Now step two of the three simple steps is to create a form. Now remember Austin who is selling the ebook, he's using the default checkout here, the central checkout. So he's not creating a form for every product or service that he's selling. He's just sending them all right here directly. But in the other examples, we created an individual form and for Forms are very easy to create. Let's create a brand new form from scratch. I'll click add new right here. Next, I'll give the form a name and then you can choose one of these convenient form templates that you can use as a starting point. You can see we have ones with the multiple selector. Down here we have a donation, invoice form, as well as a two column form for that traditional look. I'll choose this simple one and then click on next. Now I just need to add a product that I created earlier, so I'll click right here where it says add product and I can choose one from the list that I've already created. Great. Now that I've chosen a product, I can add multiple products if I want and then give the buyer an option to purchase all of them or to choose one or to choose one or more. And I can also at the end of the purchase transaction, send the buyer to a custom thank you page and you can design that thank you page using any tool that you like to use. OK, I'll go ahead here and click on create and you can see here is my form. Now there's lots of easy elements that you can drag and drop into this form if you wanted to add it. I'll click on the plus here on the top left and you can see these different options right here. I see this form doesn't have a checkbox to make someone agree to the terms and conditions. So I can choose this switch element or the checkbox element. I'll go ahead and choose the checkbox element. And it looks like that is not where I want it. So I'm going to go here and click on the down arrow and I'll click on the down arrow as well to go under the order summary. And then here's my checkbox. So I'll go ahead and change the text of this. Now that I've entered in my text, you can see over here on the right, I have some specific options to this checkbox. So do I want to make this required? And when I toggle this on, you can see a little asterisk has appeared to the right of the text. And we have some additional options here. If you want to see a list of all the elements that make up this form, just click these three lines here on the top left and you can see them all right here. You can delete or rearrange any of them. And when you click into each one, there'll be additional options that appear off to the right. So you can change every bit of text that you see. Maybe on this form, I don't like this padlock here for the button. So I can just click directly on the button or I could have clicked right here where it says submit button. And then off to the right, I can customize the text. I can turn off that lock if I wanted to. I can even change the size of the button right here. And step three is to create an automation. Now I'm showing you a screenshot for the automation because this will be integrated in about two weeks into the platform. What this means is on the purchase event, whenever someone purchases a product, you're going to be able to string together a series of things that will happen. We call these actions. A couple of examples of actions that you might want to happen after someone purchases a 
a particular product is maybe you want access granted to a course in your course platform. Then you want the buyer's information passed off into a Google Sheet. Maybe if you got their phone number, you want to send them a text message through Twilio to thank them for signing up. Then you want to put a notice on your Slack channel as well as pass off their information into the email marketing platform that you use. We don't do integrations. That's so 2020. We do automations, which is the way a modern e-commerce platform should work. I hope you're as excited as I am right now because finally, e-commerce is not going to be complicated anymore. It's three simple steps to accomplish anything that you want. So without further ado, I am pleased to introduce you to Surecart, a simple yet powerful e-commerce platform made with you in mind. Surecart is the e-commerce platform of your dreams. It delivers a complete e-commerce experience with everything needed for modern commerce online. And it starts with our pain payment forms as you just saw. Forms are easy enough for non-techies, just point and click, yet they also have everything the more demanding power user would want all without touching a single line of code. You can have individual forms anywhere on your website, as well as having a traditional e-commerce structure with a central checkout page. The choice is yours. And as a merchant, there are multiple ways to take payments and with multiple processors. So let's kick this off with explaining our why. And I've got this silly acronym. Maybe you can help me come up with a better one. Better one, ASC. Are. Our first why is accessible. Everyone should be welcome to use the platform. It must be accessible to everyone, regardless of your economic situation, geographical situation, to level the playing field. The second why is simple. Anyone should be able to start taking payments in just a few minutes. It must be an elegant experience requiring no code whatsoever. Easy enough for the non-techie, but enough power there for someone that wants to go further. The third why is connected. Our platform must connect to everything inside WordPress and outside of WordPress. And lastly, R is for reliable. You should feel sure that everything is going to work always. And now it's time for the big surprise. And the best part, I've saved it for right now, is that SureCart is free. One of our whys is that e-commerce should be accessible to all. That means we need to have a free version that has no caps, no hidden charges, no catches. It must be full featured and fully capable. So that is what we're doing. Nothing currently on the market even comes close to this, just like how WordPress itself is free with a mission to democratize publishing. And the effect is that because it's free, it's now powering 45% of the inter internet. So also we want Surecart to become the standard way all e-commerce is done in WordPress. And the only way to accomplish that is to make it free. Now, of course, we have to keep the lights on. So we're going to have two very affordable pro plans with advanced features such as an affiliate marketing platform, subscription saver, multi-currency and other revenue boosters. But the platform itself is completely free. Now let's take a look at who Surecart is for. This initial release of Surecart is focused on non-physical product sales. So that's digital products, services, invoices, donations. You may also choose to sell physical products, but this initial release is primarily focused on non-physical transactions. We still need to build some needed options for selling physical goods, such as real-time shipping cost calculations, in inventory controls, product variations, and country purchase restrictions. But if you offer free or flat rate shipping and you never run out of inventory and you can ship worldwide, you can certainly sell physical products using Surecart. So now let's take a look at some of the technical aspects of Surecart. Surecart is a headless platform. There's two parts to it. The platform, which is the e-commerce engine, 
and the plugin. Now the platform or e-commerce engine is built with the same technology that Shopify, Basecamp, GitHub, Twitter, Stripe, and more use. These are all multi-billion dollar companies and we're using the same exact technology. And then there's the plugin, which connects to the platform in real time, taking all the load away from your website and onto the platform that was built and optimized for e-commerce. So everything I showed you earlier in the video was all loading from the e-commerce engine, not the website. This way you get everything you want and none of the stuff you don't want. Surecart will not slow down your website. It won't bloat your database. It's less likely to have plugin conflicts and it's made to work with your caching setup. But the real benefit is you get assurance and peace of mind. You don't have to worry about security, storage, backups. Surecart takes all the hassles out of e-commerce. So now let's take a look at where we are at. Currently we have over 500 early adopters that have been sworn to secrecy up until now that have been using Surecart for the past few weeks and their feedback has helped us fine tune the user experience. We are a team of 10 people working on Surecart for nearly two years. I've had to keep this secret for a very long time. Our website is going to be live next month. Right now we have a landing page notification list you can opt into if you want. I'll probably get in trouble for showing you some of the early Figma designs here, but this is going to go live very soon. The automation engine that I showed you a screenshot for is going to be live next month as well, probably in about two weeks or so. Right now we offer Stripe and PayPal's coming next week. Ultimately, our plan is to add Add Mercado for Latin America, Razorpay for India, Mali for the EU areas, and Paystack for Africa. This is our plan, but of course it's a fluid situation and plans sometimes do change, but this is what we're targeting. So now let's take a look at Surecart versus some of the alternatives that are on the market. First you have hosted platforms, but they're expensive and they don't integrate with everything you use, especially if you use WordPress. They're pretty much just closed systems. And of course, it's unavoidable to compare us to WooCommerce. So I'll address it right now. Woo oftentimes slows your website down the admin area and the front end of your site. So you have to buy more expensive hosting to get the performance back. But that's a tiny problem that money can fix. The bigger problem is Every time you need to add the tiniest thing, you have to add a free or paid plugin. And they all tend to be from different developers. You're potentially left with a delicate website that has a mess of plugins that were not exactly made to work together, all developed by different people, and you pay a very large amount of money per year for them. It's just way too many parts. Subscriptions alone cost $200 per year per website, and that that still doesn't cover split pays, pay what you want, upgrades, or proration. To get anything close to what we are giving for free would cost up to $1,000 per year and require way too many plugins to count. Then you need to spend a significant amount of time trying to make it all look decent on the front end of your website to have an acceptable user experience. Listen, I'm not dissing Woo here. I personally like and use WooCommerce and appreciate all the effort that has gone into maintaining it for the past 10 years. But I think it's made for big e-commerce stores like Amazon or Sephora, and a good portion of Woo users would be better served with a platform that was built with them in mind. WooCommerce for a small business just takes a lot of work and you need to understand a lot of different things. But this is fine for big enterprise, but for most of us, we ain't got time for that. Next are our form plugins and what I like to call platform plugins. These are the plugins that you build your site around like LearnDash, things like that, a membership plugin. But let's face it, Form and these platform plugins 
We're not made for e-commerce. It's an afterthought and rightfully so. Because of that, they offer very limited e-commerce features. They lack real-time tax calculations, multiple pricing options or coupons or order management or dashboards or design flexibility or secure digital downloads or a customer area. And for subscriptions, they lack upgrading with the proration that you saw and downgrading. I could go on and on, but I think you get my point. So I'm going to tell you now how to get started. We would like to invite you to become an early adopter. In the video description, there's a link to a Google form. Each day I'll be letting in about a hundred people or so. So the sooner you sign up, the sooner you'll get in. And if you just want to be on a notification list for when we go live next month, you could visit surecart.com and pop in your info. Right now we have a very basic landing page there for you, but you saw we have our normal website will be coming very soon. If you're excited about Surecart, hit the thumbs up button right now. It'll make you feel good and it will make this team that's been working tirelessly on this for two years feel good as well. And Surecart's not just me. There's a whole team of us that have been working on this for two years. Sure, I haven't been uploading as many videos as I normally do. Now you know why I've been building out this platform with this amazing team that we've put together to build this for you. And it's free, as you saw. Everything you saw in this video, completely free. And if you sign up to the early adopter list, you could have this in a matter of days and start using it in your business to make e-commerce finally be simple. I'm sure you have a question or two, about maybe about taxes or gateways or integrations. All of that's there, by the way. Uh, you might want some specific answers to that, though, and that's totally fine as well. Feel free to use the comment section down below. I'll get that, that comment question of yours, and I'll get you an answer. Sometimes just know YouTube just auto-deletes a comment. I do not know why it's not me, even though um, some people get upset and think it's me. Every YouTuber is getting deleted comments automatically by YouTube. I have no control over that, but I do want to hear from you down below and I do want to answer any question that you have. You can also hit me up on Facebook. We have a Facebook group and we've been talking about this for the past three months uh, and we've ma managed to be able to keep this secret for this long. So anyways, there you have it. Thanks for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up, share it with someone that you think it could help make a difference in their business. And I'll see you in the next video.